In this problem, we're being asked to find the equation of a parabola. And we're told various pieces of information. We're told the vertex is 0, 0. We're told it passes through this point, And we're also told that it opens right. So the first thing we're going to use is the fact that it opens right. That will give us the formula. So whenever you have a parabola that opens left or right, the y is always being squared. So the formula is y minus k parentheses squared equals 4c times x minus h. Whenever the x is being squared, it's a different formula. It's x minus h squared equals 4c y minus k. So I just memorize it as if it opens left and right, the y is being squared. If it opens up and down, the x is being squared. Okay, now we can plug in some things. Let's go ahead and plug in the vertex first. The vertex is always h and k. So if we have k equals 0, that'll give us y minus 0 squared equals 4c times x minus 0. So here we have y squared equals 4c times x. Now we're told it passes through this point, 2, negative 2 squared of 2. So that means that when x is equal to 2, y is equal to minus 2 times the square root of 2. So we can take these numbers and plug it into this equation to solve for c. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have parentheses negative 2 square root of 2, and that's being squared, and that's equal to 4c times 2. Properties of exponents say that you square each of these factors. So we're going to square the negative 2, and that's going to give us 4. And when we square the square root of 2, that's going to give us 2. And then here we have 4 times 2 again, which is 8. So we have 8 equals 8c. So since it's being divided um, by, uh, since it's being multiplied by 8, to get rid of it, we divide by 8. So divide both sides by 8. And so we end up with c equal to 1. So now we can take our c and plug it back in, and we have our final answer. y squared is equal to 4 times 1 times x. So y squared is equal to 4x. And that would be the equation of the parabola. I hope this video has been helpful.